All right, what I've been doing over the past few days is wasting time, really. Especially considering that what I'm playing here is Final Fantasy VIII Remastered for the PC, a game which is basically not well liked. In fact, it's got a, what a generally unfavorable group of reviews on Steam. But I bought it anyway because it was inexpensive at a Steam sale. So I decided, you know what, let me give it a try. But I didn't get very far into the game because I stumbled across a modding tool which allows you to unpack all the character graphics files and then edit them and then you could load them back into the game for the sake of creating texture mods. So that's basically what I did. And that's what I've been doing for a couple of days. So yeah, I have been wasting time. So I'm just going to show a couple of these things here that I did. Most, all of the mods I made were for the character of Selfie here because she's actually got probably the simplest model to modify. Unlike, say, Squall or Zell, Zell here, she doesn't have any weird adornments, she's not wearing a jacket, she doesn't have, like, a long skirt on, which doesn't have any legs underneath it, so... Pretty much, she's got a simple model and a simple texture, so it was easy for me to just start screwing around with it. So I'm going to load in a few of the kinds of things I put together. Um, fortunately, with the way that this game works, I don't actually need to uh, restart the game in order to load mods in. So there we go, she's changed clothes now. Oh, hasn't happened yet. Sometimes it won't load right away. But you can see she's running around wearing a, a white dress now. There we go. Back doesn't look too good. But, you know, something like that's really easy to put together. You just have to sort of make sure that you, um... Oops. Make sure that you go and you fade the skin in appropriately. Because she doesn't have any, like, other than the arms and around the neck, she doesn't have any skin showing on her upper body. So anytime you're going to change something out like that, it's going to require a little bit of extra effort. Now I made like uh, a dozen or so mods of her wearing this dress, but with uh, different colors or patterns on it. So let's load up the blue dress. Nope, not there yet. There we go. Same thing. Easy. I ended up making a lot of separate mods with this one dress on it because, you know, once you had it, you might as well... It was barely any effort to make the changes. So... They weren't all just different colors, though. I think I have to wander off twice before it reloads. Okay, so this one, she's got the... the uh, she's got the game logo. Ah, come on. <laughs> there you go. Final Fantasy VIII Remastered logo. Uh, this one's a little different. It's weird. Every two, uh, every two screen transitions, it bothers refreshing the data. It's a psychedelic vinyl dress. <laughs> uh, what do I got here? Nope, still not wearing it. Okay, there we go. Serial killer. More or less the same dress, just with some blood stuck onto it. Oops. Okay, next. Alright, she's got the... Because uh, in the game, she was a big fan of Laguna. He had been in movies and crap like that. So, boom! Honoring him with that. 
Let's see. Uh, here we go. Not everything was done using that texture template. There was a few things I did that didn't have the texture template. And yep. Basically applied Riku's clothing from Final Fantasy X onto her here. This one didn't turn out quite as good as I had hoped, but, you know, I'm not willing to spend an enormous amount of time on it. Plus, there's a difference from the fact that, um, Selfie is wearing a skirt and Riku is wearing shorts, so I had to... What I'm, I mean, where you get the textures from is, maybe, maybe I can show this in another video at some point, but... Somebody for uh, PCSX2 created a ma a texture dumping tool, which allows you to dump the textures that's loaded into the environment that the game you're playing, so that you can take those textures and then mod them in some way and then reload them back into the game. Now it's incomplete at the moment, so I keep running into errors, texture uh, errors while reloading them into the game, but I can extract textures from pretty much any PS2 game. So I can get Riku here, and then I can, from other PS2 games, see... Where is it? Uh, I'm looking through a bunch of folders. <laughs> you can't see it on the screen, but I'm looking through a bunch of folders. Here we go. Okay, mod loaded. Nope, hasn't happened yet. Hasn't happened yet. Hasn't happened yet. Let me run around for a few seconds. It's being a pain. It'll do it eventually, we know. Okay. Uh from another PS2 game, Haunting Ground, or Demento, I guess, if you're European, she's dressed as Fiona from Haunting Ground. Again, not a difficult mod to create. I mean, things like the straps across her shoulders, because Fiona in Haunting Ground has sleeves that go up, I think, to her elbows. But it's all, not just textures applied to her character model, it is geometry, and so it's really big and poofy. Selfie doesn't have big, poofy arms on, uh, sleeves on her arms, so I more or less had to uh, fabricate the shoulder straps, but the rest of the texture is pretty much the PS2 game. I had to modify the back a bit to work with her character model, too. But this one wasn't difficult. Because, uh, again, it's another character... Uh, texture being taken from another character model that wears a, a skirt about the same length. So it was pretty easy to put together. All of these um, texture mods also work in the battles as well as, like you'll see it out here. Like, this is a low detailed version of the character model. All these, uh, it's not that big of a difference in the remastered version of the game. And I don't know if the original PlayStation version was like that also, very likely. But there are two different versions of the model with two different versions of the textures. Now they're showing the same thing. But uh, this works for both low detail, high detail, and in battles, which uses a different character model itself. Okay, so... Loaded up another one. Okay, I see it loaded in the low detail model. Not in the high detail model yet, though. There we go. It's a uh, selfie on spring break. Not much to this one. Just applied a t-shirt model, and you can see her bra under it, but it's not really that visible. It's actually kind of an ugly mod. Um, where else do I got? When you're doing this, you can also 
just more or less carry over texture models from other characters in the same game. I mean, it's all in the same folder. So, at this point, it got pretty easy to create texture mods for Selkie and Morzos, especially if you're grabbing a model or grabbing a texture from a different character in the same game. Just drag it into Photoshop, adjust the physical locations of things like things like where the waist is and all that kind of stuff. And you can create something like this. This one was actually a little bit... I'll show it anyway, but it was a little bit screwy because it was... painful on the eyes, I think. Plus, it's not that well done. <laughs> She's wearing a tie-dye shirt. Didn't work out that well, so it's kind of ugly. And now we have... Dressed like a cactus. Oh, I'm, I'm serious, I made like 20 of these damn things. Of course, no, none of these kinds of things would ever be complete without somebody going and creating a Tifa mod. Just like Tifa. It's actually using the textures I found online from the uh, PlayStation 4 version of Final Fantasy VII. Although the detail is very washed out. It doesn't look much like it. You probably wouldn't have known if I didn't tell you. Okay, this is another mod of the simple dress that I started with. Cthulhu for president. Vote for Cthulhu. Yep, don't fuck with Selfie because she's actually kind of a lunatic. I got some other colors of the basic dress that are nothing special about that. Oh, okay. Um, uh, you know what? I'm actually missing some of the files for missing some of the files for one of the mods. Alright, I'll uncompress it. Okay, there we go. Nope. There you go. Okay, I wandered out of the room like an idiot. But she's wearing um, Zero Suit Samus's clothes from uh, Metroid. There are two versions of this I had. One where I messed with the boots and one where I didn't. This is the one with the boots. And I guess that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, the only thing else I didn't show were things where it was just the basic dress I had before, but with different colors. Like, uh, this one here. That basic dress with the bad, with the weird texture seam on her back. But it's sort of reddish or pinkish. Stuff like that was easy to do, so I had a lot of that. Her boots are modified also. But, uh... I spent a lot of time dicking around with this. <laughs> Which is why I feel the need to make a video out of it. But, uh... That's what I've been wasting my time on. That's why I haven't uploaded a video in a week. 